This video demonstrates the speed and ease of a right angle prism measurement using spectrally controlled interferometry and the associated profile provided by Reveal. We use Reveal version 1.4 and the SCI Spectra 660. The video will take a user through the process of aligning a part, scanning for fringes, taking measurements, and reviewing results screens. To set up a right angle prism measurement, ensure you have a transmission flat and reference flat set perpendicular to one another. Ensure that the prism mount can be rotated on three axes, pitch, yaw, and roll. To help find fringes quickly, find the lengths of cavities 1, 2, and 3 as depicted in the schematic. In a regular prism, the internal cavity length equals the length of the prism's face. It is preferable for all cavity lengths to be different, and for the back cavity to be longer than the front cavity. The locations along the optical cavity at which these fringes are found are fairly straightforward. The front and back cavities are simply the distance between the face of the prism and their respective optical flats. The internal cavity is the length of the prism face multiplied by the prism's refractive index. Before beginning the measurement, ensure a properly set up interferometric system. Make sure that the SCI has finished calibrating. The power and status lights will both be solidly on. Then in Reveal, open the right angle profile from the profile menu, usually located on the left side of the screen. Turn on Live Video and make sure that the refractive index is entered in the parameters section of the screen. Open the alignment camera and align each part to the center of the screen. First, we will measure the front cavity, the cavity between the face of the prism and the transmission flat. That cavity should be selected in the parameters box. Place the indicator at the approximate cavity length within the Measurement Manager, then click on the bottom half of the Manager. This appears in the live video. Scroll along until just before fringes appear. Scan for fringes, and once they are located, null them. Finally, take a measurement. Next, we will measure the other face of the prism. Move the parameters selection to back cavity and repeat the measurement process. Remember, the distance here is the length between face 2 of the prism and the reference flat. The third cavity is the length of the prism face multiplied by the refractive index of the prism. Once again, mark that cavity selection in the parameters box and repeat the measurement process. In this example, cavities 1 and 3 are close together, so we scan for fringes manually in the bottom half of the measurement manager. Once the measurements are complete, Reveal will automatically calculate relevant parameters, including the hypotenuse face, error of the right angle, and twist angle. Each face can be more closely examined in its individual screens. Reveal automatically updates its calculations if one of the faces of the prism gets remeasured. So, as you can see, in just a few minutes, with little adjustment, a right-angle prism can be fully measured, 